Welcome, YouTube! You guys don't know this, but this is the third time I've tried introing for you guys. I have been so unlucky today, but we are finally here. We're playing Rat SSP. Uh, it's episode three. <laughs> we are going to... Gamma Goop's here. Amazing. We are going to, first of all, build a wheat farm here, like a wheat potato carrot farm. Real quick, a, a sh small thing. I don't feel like doing something big right now. But um, we're gonna do that. And then now that we have full iron, we have full iron, right? Yeah. Now that we have full iron and a shield and an iron sword, we are gonna go and try to make that into a raid farm. We're gonna put some leaves around and then we're gonna put some glass panes at the top. So we're not making the full raid farm yet, but we're gonna try to, sorry, I wanna turn off the music. I'm not used to having music on for this. Um, We're gonna try to uh, at least make the start of the raid farm, which means they can't spawn at the bottom anymore. We want leaves down there so they can't spawn down there. And we put glass panes up there so we can figure out exactly what block they're spawning on. And then we can break all the other glass panes or leave them for now and get to them later. Um, but the general idea and the general gist of what we're trying to do today is just clean up around here, make food easier for us to get. Maybe we do a chicken farm, but I don't really know how to do those yet. In fact, let's just real quick grab these chicken eggs if they have any. They had four. Okay, that's good. Um, we're getting a decent amount of eggs, so we should be able to do a chicken farm soon. I say, if, if nothing else, is three cups of tea too much to have in one day? Because I might get another. I don't drink tea. Is it caffeinated? If it's caffeinated, probably. <laughs> then again, Jazz has like 15 cups of coffee a day and survives. So I don't know if humans are like prone to die from caffeine. Um, we do not need that much cobblestone. What we do need is a lot of dirt. Um, it can be, but I probably get decaf. Then I don't think it really matters. All right, I think you're fine. Don't listen to me though. I'm not an expert on. Uh, I'm not an expert on anything actually. Uh, okay, so we have this, and we just have one block. Okay, I just I like having everything in a nice little pattern. Even though everything's super simple in my base, nothing is that difficult to build. Two, three. Four, and then I think this needs to be water. Should we put water there? I think the water here just drips down, doesn't it? Like we never actually put anything. Yeah, like it it just goes straight down into um Yeah, okay. We're just gonna redo that. Like we're just gonna keep doing that. Too late, I'm listening to you. Tea time art, right, hell yeah. Get get your tea, bro. I uh I will not judge. I don't really drink anything. I just have um Water, mostly. I'm not, like, a beverage guy, you know? So, yeah, we're just gonna make, like, the ideal farm, which is literally just a, a, a what is it, a 9x9 nine nine, uh, area. It's the simplest thing, because that's how much water uh, goes. It's how far water goes, and, like, hydrates your crops. I don't know who's good at Minecraft in this chat, so I'm just gonna, like... Pretend you guys know nothing about what I'm what I'm talking about, so I can mansplain to you. <laughs> uh, there we go. But um, this is a super simple thing, and then we're gonna do the raid farm, and I think we'll still have a lot of time left over after the raid thing. I think the next thing I want to do after that is figure out where we want to put the villagers and place them somewhere, because I think the after we build the raid farm. That area is going to be considered a village, which is something I've talked about in a, in a previous stream. So I'm just kind of recapping. But that area is going to be considered a village. <laughs> what is Minecraft? <laughs> Water tea is my typical drink. Sometimes Starbucks coffee. Yeah, I've had uh, Starbucks refreshers before. Uh, but they were way too caffeinated. I would, like, die trying to drink them. So I've stopped drinking that altogether. And I just drink my uh, my silly little water beverages nowadays um it's kind of boring though i kind of want more to drink sometimes i'll have ginger ale or mountain dew that's about it i don't even drink sprite that much unless i'm like in india india sprite and india thumbs up i i don't know why india sprite tastes so good but also thumbs up is just great um is this java or bedrock is bedrock yeah that's why i can build like this bedrock has this fun thing but um i i tried java earlier and it just totally broke uh, you weren't there for it. It pissed me off. That's why I've done like three intros for this for YouTube today because I've been so unlucky with trying to stream. Um, but I think we're finally good. I think let's not jinx it, but I think we're finally okay. Um, but yeah, so 
I also want to get all the achievements. I did do four, yeah. Okay, I, I also want to get all the achievements, uh, as always in this game. I'm, I'm an achievement person. So, um, doing it on Bedrock is kind of nice. I know people don't really like Bedrock, but it's honestly kind of nice if you're not, like, a professional, like, like how I play. I'm going to unplug your computer now. No, please. I can't do another intro. I've done too many today, man. Oh, God. It's been so annoying. I don't know why I've been just so screwed by everything. Like, oh, there's a cow. If there's another, we should steal those. Um, Like, my first of all, OBS thought that, like, that's why at the start of this, this second stream that I've done, because I had to b stop stream and start again. Um, at the start of that second one, the ring light was overexposing me because in the last stream, it like didn't notice me at all, and I had to turn it up all the way for it to work. That should have been my clue that something was broken, but I just thought that because I'm wearing kind of a darker clothing, maybe that's what broke it. But no, OBS just started off broken, and then I just continued without realizing. But we're finally here, and, um, yeah, I think, so because this will be considered a village whenever we, um, actually turn it into a raid farm, we steal the villagers that are over there, except for one, we'll just keep one there. Uh, YouTube watchers are gonna feel so welcome if I do one more intro. Uh, we take the villagers that are, like, over the hills there, we leave one there, because we'll need one of them to be in the raid farm, and we put them somewhere, I'm thinking here, because I kind of like, like, if we, whenever we get Silk Touch, we can flatten this, um... According to my mom, it's the evil hour that might be the cause of your stream issues. What, 9 to 10 is the evil hour? 9 is when I always stream, so maybe it is the evil hour. Maybe maybe I'm just evil, guys. Maybe I'm just a silly little evil guy. But, um, yeah, I dude, I get screwed all the time by, by stream. But this has been, like, the worst of it. Most of the time I can fix it without stopping stream, but today I had to actually, like, end. I had to proper end, and that was frustrating. Um, one thing we don't have, I'm realizing, is beetroot. So that sucks because I kind of want that. I don't really, you, no one uses beetroot at all, but you know, it'd be nice to have your. Also, I love the uh, pillar to the Flying Dutchman up there. Streamers tend to have to consider the evil hour. Diff times every day, apparently. It's a different time every, every day for the evil hour. I feel like there are certain times where my stream starts and it's way worse than normal. Like everything's more broken than normal. So maybe, maybe it's the evil hour right now, and that's why I just got screwed. But hey, we're making it work. Um, something I do want is to turn. Where are those? There they are. This and I think I have yeah more smooth stone here. We're gonna just turn all these into slabs so we can kind of start the base for um for for the outline. Start the outline, but uh. I don't think I'll get it completely. I also don't know what to do here. Maybe I just do it up twice. Um, this is a very 2012 Minecraft build, and I'm totally aware of that fact. And I'm going to do it anyway, so... Uh, shut up! <laughs> um, but yeah, so what I was saying was, I, I like the uh, ice spikes here, and I think that if I try to... Uh, if I If I go about, like flattening this which i probably will at some point to get like another highway going uh i think this would be a good place to have the villagers stay because i can flatten the entire top then i can take all the blue ice from the underneath and then we're good then we can do nether highways and we can do all that stuff but then at the same time we'll have like a good place for villagers and i think it should be like 100 blocks right we'll do the math later we'll um figure out exactly what block they spawn at and we'll figure out what 100 blocks from that is if anything, we'll go a little further into the into the ocean or we are uh, into the sorry um ice spikes, but um it's not even ice spikes, is it? It's like just slightly icy. Um, I also I think another important thing would be uh making a chicken farm today. If nothing else, we just make a hopper. You know that's something we can actually do right now. Um, now that we've done the wheat farm, kind of. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna I'm as always I'm gonna get distracted like constantly. Uh, I think first thing we should do. Let's just get a little bit of cobblestone. We're going to need a lot of coal. Uh, we'll need four more, I think. One, two, three, four. Um, and let's make some smooth stone so that we can smelt, it, like, we can uh, make the slabs that we need for the outer lining. And then we're kind of still low on coal. That's a thing. I think maybe we were getting really unlucky. Are you trying to find totems with this? Farm totems with this? Um, I was thinking more just like, I, I know that you can get 
emeralds from it. What are the raid loot that you can get? Hang on. I know I have the video saved. Where is it? There it is. I'm going to mute this real quick before it starts playing. There we go. Um, I know you, there's like... Let's see. What can we get? We can, Yeah, so we can get totems. We can get enchanted books. We can get crossbows. We can get arrows. We can get emeralds. And then we also get a bunch of iron, which... um. If we, if we just sort the iron, we can disenchant it, which will give us some XP. And then we can smelt all of it, which gives us iron nuggets, which we can then use to, um, to just make iron ingots. So it's kind of an iron farm. It's not an efficient one. But, like, if I just get a bunch of lava from the nether, then it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. If I just get iron, uh, lava from the nether, I can just let it, uh, keep going, you know? Keep, keep running through smelting going out and then it's kind of not an issue so that's fun uh let's just start smelting these again i kind of hate that i have to smelt so much i i wish i had like a new renewable source of smelt i think kelp would be the best play for that but um we would need to make a kelp farm which i don't know if there's a good way to make one on uh on bedrock I know on Java there's some good ones, but they're also zero tick generally, if I remember correctly. So that's something I don't have access to in Bedrock. Oh, or make a dripstone lava farm. That's true. That's true. I think those are kind of slow though. So, um, all right. I say next thing we're going to do, we're going to get some shears. Which I knew we had. Oh, we have over a stack of iron. Okay, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. Ah, <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Hi, creeper. I'm gonna just kill you real quick. No one creeper hits me. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I'm gonna kill you uh, in a way I didn't expect to, but. Oh no, I had a kelp farm on an eye. It was pretty good. Not one tick, but it was just kind of big. Oh! Uh, okay. That's good to know. I think then I'll do that. If. Uh, is it simple? Do you have like a video or anything? Did that break immediately? Sick. Um, and I have no stone on me. Great. I should probably keep some building blocks and stuff on me anyway. Um, yeah, I, if you have like a, like, how do you make it? Did you just, if it's like a, just a very simple farm where you just like have it, I'm also realizing I have stone in here. <laughs> Whoops. Um, if it's one of those things where you can just, um, I'm really struggling to get through my words here. <laughs> If it is one of those things where you just have a piston and an observer and they detect and it just keeps going and it's just a very big farm, that would be pretty good, actually. I wouldn't mind doing that. It would take probably an entire stream because, uh, first of all, I don't have the resources for it yet, so I'd probably need to gather some and then build the entire thing. It was like a sugarcane farm, but underwater. Okay. Uh, I think that's something we could actually do. I wouldn't mind giving that a go. Um, there we go. We're also gonna make a wood farm soon, I think, because we don't have nearly enough. Do I even have spruce? I, I probably need- Oops! We're, I probably need some spruce, uh, saplings. Which, again, after this raid farm's done, I can probably break some leaves or whatever. Actually, maybe not. I think I will have to keep the leaves there. Um, I can also replace the leaves with slabs anytime, I think. I think it's just- It has to be something that mobs can't walk on, and I'm pretty sure they can't walk on slabs. So I think that'll be fine. Um, this is one I used, if I remember correctly. Okay, I will open that in a new tab in just a second and um, bookmark it for later because that is helpful. I think anything like that, like farms, I don't generally like farming. Like, it's okay. I, you know, I was, I, I hung out with the crafters for a while just because of, like, I was a fan of automation, but the problem is, like, for me to actually put in the effort to make a farm, it takes a lot of time. And generally, I have to follow a video, and I don't like doing that on stream, because that's just kind of boring. So, I gotta figure out exactly what I want to do, but if it's simple, like a kelp farm, I think that's something that I'm fine with. Like, even with a raid farm, I'm probably gonna just have to write down the instructions, or just memorize them, and only then I can do it. Let me just real quick save this video. It's pretty tedious from streaming. Yeah, exactly. It's annoying. Uh... It just opened in OBS. I've never seen that before. What the heck? Sorry, it's just gonna... Okay, okay. <laughs> She's gonna blast me with the... With uh, an ad. 
because it doesn't notice that I have a YouTube premium. I haven't watched a YouTube ad in so long. I know that's like such a loser thing to say because who has YouTube premium? But I love it. Um, because I just watch so much YouTube, it saves me a lot of time, and you know. Um, okay, this is very simple. Yeah, I can actually do this. They put the kelp on the observer. I didn't know you could even do that. I'll probably have to watch the video to understand. Uh, unless it's just a very unless you literally can just do it. I don't know. Uh, YouTube Premium, bro, touch crash. Yo, shut up. Listen, I don't do I don't do um uh, uh ad blocker because I like to support the people I watch. Like I feel bad doing it because like obviously I I also make videos. Like I know it's <laughs> it's it's kind of an L if people are like watching your stuff but they're not giving you any like actual traction for it uh or like any 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 like views for it or whatever ads so i i try to like you know but like i just i hate advertisements man i'm just so like i'm too impatient for that shit you know i don't like waiting i'm a loser <laughs> all right we are slowly making some work on this we're lucky so far no raiders have shown up which is nice um, yeah, literally you just have to go through three blocks out and build with, uh, leaves. Uh, we'll just do one more. Ch technically that's four, but I think I measured from the pillar. Actually, I don't think the pillar matters. I think three blocks from the main structure is how much we need it. And I don't like doing extra work. So we're going to break that. Yeah. Does YouTube Premium still pay creators? It, it does. It bases it, though, like, off of, um... So, it, like, it checks how much percentage of the... Of that creator you've been watching the month. And then, at the end of the month, it pays them. I think that's how it works. So, like, if you're paying... Whatever it is, like, $20 for a family plan. Which I, I think that's what it is now. Um, which is kind of too much. I think we're actually... I, I might suggest canceling it. Even though I love YouTube Premium, just because of how much I watch... It's a lot, but um, if you're paying like 20 bucks or whatever for the premium plan, or for the family plan, then um, they'll just split those $20 into, or probably like a percent of that $20 between all the, all the creators that you watched. Uh, which, I don't know if it's worth for the creators, but also like they, for one person, they don't get paid much anyway for ads. So I, I think I'm still doing just about as much as anyone else, but um yeah okay so what we've done what we've officially done now is um we have made this place nice and secure so hopefully nothing should be spawning over here now we do need to make our way upstairs which is where more things spawn so we gotta be careful um all these places are fine. It's up here that they spawn. But we're not unpeaceful somehow, right? It is hard. Now, I don't know why uh, we're getting so lucky. We're going to just break this chest and yoink everything in it. Um, and iron ingot, nice. And now we just need to put like glass panes from here to here. Oops. Uh, from here to here, like all the way around. Um, my compromise to myself is that I can't get an ad blocker on my phone. So whenever I'm at school or just without my laptop and watch the ads. Also, I don't have money for YouTube Premium. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, YouTube, I'm sure, takes most percentage. Like, they probably take a majority. But at the same time, like, I do want to support. So it's, like, hard. It's, it's, I think that's a good balance. Like, I could not watch stuff on my phone at school because, um, they had, like, the craziest signal blockers over there. <laughs> so uh, my friends, uh, my friends know this. Scrub knows this. Um, yeah, they, y you could not watch anything on your phone. You could not do anything on your phone ever. You couldn't call people. Like, it was dangerous almost. Like, if you, if you wanted to call your parents and, like, talk to them or, like, let them know to pick you up or anything, like, you would have to go to the nurse and do a whole thing. Um, but, like, even the nurses wouldn't immediately call ever. So, I don't know. It's kind of... It's messed up. It always pissed me off. I'm sure it pissed a bunch of my friends off. Um, we can put those away. What I do want is to plant these real quick. Um... I don't think it matters where I plant them right now. I also think if carrots and potatoes and all that stuff are next to each other, they grow faster, which is nice. But um, generally, I don't care about that too much. 
That's how it is at my brother's school. It's like they literally aren't allowed to have their phones on their person during the day. Yeah, I think generally, I think originally, we weren't allowed to have phones on our person, but everyone just broke that rule. So then they were like, okay, you can have them, but like don't have them out during class, blah, blah, blah. But then it, it I think with, with our school, we were all just a bunch of cretins. Like we were, we were terrible people. So uh, eventually they just kind of gave up. Like, I don't, I don't think they cared after a while because it was just like, what are you going to do? You know, like, these are the worst kids in history. Um, but, you know. I'm glad to be out of there. I'm glad that our, our college just gives us free Wi-Fi. Because then teachers started including phone usage into the lessons, like, for projects and shit. Yeah, they, they used to do that. They used to make us play cahoots on our phones if our laptops weren't working. Like, um, yeah, they did all that stuff. All right, this is looking kind of nice. Again, it is very basic, but uh, I think basic is kind of what I'm going for here. Like, as much as I'd love to put in a bunch of effort, I'm just not good at building like that. So, this this is looking good, guys. We're, like, starting to really make a nice base here. So, we got this. We got sugarcane farm. Next, I think we do chicken farm in a second. My school blocks most apps on the Wi-Fi, but I can just use my data if I'm going to Discord. Yeah, so we don't even have Wi-Fi, and, um, yeah, it, it just, it sucked. It, you didn't have Wi-Fi, and if you wanted to, like, text from data, you just had to get lucky, uh, lucky, dark oak logs, what the heck? Oh, I think, did I break dark oak logs? Did I just break part of the pillager outpost? But yeah, you had to, um... You had to, like, go outside if you wanted to try to text from your phone. So you had to, like, see if you could, like, sneak out of, like, the school. There are, like, three spots in the whole school that had enough data to do anything. I remember I'd get bored during study hall because I'd have everything done. Like, I am I was a pretty good student. So I'd have nothing to do. I'd, like, go to the library or whatever and just hope that it was one of the days where I got lucky. Because some days it was better than others. Because I'm pretty sure there was no actual blockers. It's just the resources they used to build the school just are what killed the the data i'm pretty sure someone told me like legally they couldn't block the data i don't know i don't know if that's true but um that school is pretty shit yeah it it was it dude every like <laughs> i'm realizing now you know how like there's a whole thing about new jersey and people make fun of new jersey and stuff they're partially right I won't give it to them fully. I think New Jersey's nice. I do love it here. But, like, our public school system says a lot about us, and it's not good things, you know? Um, silver lining, you never have to go back. That's true. I They can never take that away from me. I passed. It's over. Uh, I don't need that yet. What we're going to do is get this, get this, get this. And nice. We have a chest. Oh, wait. I need more iron than just one. I forgot. You need one chest and five iron. That's perfect. Um, we're gonna need to make another chest. I mean, we don't really need to yet. Uh, yeah, let's actually make another chest because these eggs fill up fast. Make that. Um, and we're gonna make the most basic shit known to man. We're literally just gonna put this, this. <laughs> wow, basic shit known to man. Can't even build it without messing up. Uh, here you go. And then, I mean, we're gonna need um. A staircase anyway to get up there to check on them and then hurry up do something illegal and super dumb i really hope some judge court orders you to go back dude um every time anytime i've for some reason i've had this conversation before about going back to high school every time we talk about it it always reminds me of that one episode of um kicking it do you guys did you guys watch kicking it I, I rewatched it recently. Or I rewatched the first episode and I realized it's very like white savior. Like it's it's not really good show. Um so I never watched past the first episode. But um Yeah. It's uh in in, in the, the one of in one of the episodes the instructor or whatever has to go back for back to high school. I've watched like five shows total, so no you haven't watched it. It's um yeah, it's not great. <laughs> I was I was on a binge of rewatching a bunch of old Disney shows. I don't know why. So like for example, I watched um, Lab Rats, which was really good. That one was a really good show, um, and most of it was actually like it held up to now. Uh, I'd say there was some kind of misogyny uh, and transphobia 
like kind of underlying within it, uh, which I think is standard for old Disney. So I still enjoy the show as a whole. But um, wow, we're getting so lucky. What the heck? Never been this lucky. Wow, four. Okay. I'll take it. And the nun in this patch. Oh, five. Okay. Uh, I honestly, uh, I'm trying to decide if we want to even keep these guys or just kill them because the fox is gonna run out. What's up, spirit? Bro, <laughs> spirit shows up because I made fun of him <laughs> yesterday. Um, Labrats had transphobia. It had like slight kind of like, it was more toxic masculinity than anything. Um, yeah, it was kind of shitty, but like, it is what it is. I I think overall is a pretty good show actually. Um. And it still mostly holds up to this day. Uh, I think Cobblestone's done. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of thinking we just leave this fox <laughs> to be here, to live here. Uh, <laughs> like, in the ground. So, uh, I say we just kill these chickens. Or we try to lead them out. But I think the fox will definitely run off if we try to lead them out. Uh, lots of shows have had an underlying transphobia in the ways. Yeah, exactly. And how they depict gender roles. That's the thing. Like, Chase... Like, I was also too young to see it. It's just because I rewatched that I noticed it. But, like, Chase um, was doing, like, a, would make fun of... I think Chase and Adam would make fun of each other. And Adam was, like, this super, uh, like, burly dude. Like, strong dude. So he'd make fun of Chase for being, like, oh, you, like, do stuff like a girl or whatever. Um, and I think there was, like, some... Like, that was the misogyny part. I think there was some other, like, kind of transphobia that I remember. And like the first like three episodes, but I ended up going through and watching the whole thing, and I enjoyed it. I still enjoyed it a lot. And then I tried watch. I tried watching Mighty Med. I totally understand why Mighty Med got canceled after like two seasons. I think it's because they're trying to appeal to kids who are like, "Yo, girls, cootie." Yeah, exactly. It, yeah, I don't expect it to be like super inclusive. I do think we can teach kids to be a little nicer, <laughs> like, and not bigoted. But like, I think even for today's standards, it mostly holds up. So I'm not like roasting or anything. I actually enjoyed it. But Mighty Med sucked. Not for that reason, it just sucked in writing. So I get why that, first of all, that was canceled after two seasons. And then they tried to do um, a joint, like, collab between Lab Rats and Mighty Med, which was going to be its whole other show. That was canceled after one season because the Mighty Med guys were so, like, the writing for the Mighty Med superheroes were so bad that I think it ruined the Lab Rats crossover as well. <sighs> whole rant. <laughs> I've been holding on to that for... In like months now. I, I don't even remember when I watched it. It's been a while. Let's gather some sand. I, it looks like, like there's a desert or like uh, at least a beach there. I say we go there and gather that sand. I can't wait to find an LA. That's going to be fun. I only remember the guy who loved bridges from Mighty Men. What can I say? He loves bridges. <laughs> you should do movie slash TV reviews. I've... I've thought about doing like game reviews, kind of quote unquote game reviews, but also like more of like video essays about different games that I like. So it's not really game review because it's only gonna be games that I actually like. Um, there's one that I've been thinking about doing recently, but I've been so stressed with other work and like it would take so long. <laughs> but I'm I kind of want to do it still, but um, it might just take some time. But yeah, I um. I kind of want. I I think at that same time, that's when I tried doing um kicking it, and I was like, this sucks. The first episode is so like, just that white savior complex kind of thing. It, it just it it was so bad. It was like cause like there's like all these nerdy kids and they're sitting alone and they're getting bullied and then this one kid just shows up and kicks the shit out of everyone and that's like the start of the show and it's like and then he goes to goes on to save like them in their tournament and stops the place from getting shut down or whatever and i'm just like okay man like all right we get it you know and the fact that like two of the other characters were people of color i think and then one of them the other one was white a white girl and she's like the love interest and i'm just like this is written so badly like again uh, even as someone who understands that like Back then, it, it they weren't trying to be inclusive. And even now, they they might not be. I'm not watching kids' shows. Like, I, I get it. it. We're not, like, trying to, like, force far-left ideals on any kid, right? It's just, like, having some sense of human de decency is all. And, like, even with Live Rats not doing that fully, like I said, I still enjoyed it. I, I don't think it needs to be canceled or whatever, like, in terms of, like, 
its content. But kicking it was so far gone of like just shitty ideals that it's like what's the point? I don't know. It just was so so shit. Okay, there's a lot. I got catch up on. Is there a difference between a video essay and retrospective? What's a retrospective? A retrospective is just a type of video essay. You have to consider the lessons that are being taught to the non-white kids watching the show. Exactly. Like, even Lab Rats, it's, it's, if I remember correctly, it's like, all the, all the superheroes are white. And then there's, um, two black main characters. And four white ones, if I remember correctly. So, like, it's still like, you know, majority white cast. But the black characters aren't like, just the butt of every joke and stuff, you know? And just the fact that, like, I don't know, I, I just, I, when you watch the first episode of Kicking It, you can see what I mean. It's, it's so rough, dude. Um, the music is making this sound like a really serious talk. Yeah, dude, I love Minecraft music. It's so, such a vibe. I also definitely don't need this much uh, sand, but it's, I like flattening. It's fun. We did this in the first episode as well. I just sat here and flattened for a while. Um before because that's where we built my base it was on like a little island that we flattened down so um it's a vibe you'll need it one day exactly i because the thing is i okay i love concrete but i hate getting concrete it takes so long but maybe one day if we get i want it okay if there's one thing i want to do in this in this series is get netherite tools because i don't think i've ever gotten netherite in my entire lifespan of playing this game i think for the entire time i've played this game i've either Gotten, I've probably got a couple diamond tools and I've never gotten maybe I've gotten nether at once. That's a lie uh, Maybe for the glass your kelp farm. That's true. I do want to use uh, glass. I want to be able to see everything So yeah, this is helpful. This is pretty good. Um, yeah, that might be a lie I might have gotten kelp kelp kelp. I've probably gotten netherite uh, tools once I because I feel like I remember once just being oh my god my first netherite tool um, But other than that like I've barely ever gotten any and like when I see people playing in like SMPs and SSPs and they have um like netherite tools and like enchanted netherite armor, it always it's always so nice. It's like oh they're like they're so ahead in the game and like I wish I could get there and I just don't ever get there. We're gonna hit this last bit and then we're gonna head back and start smelting. Um and then I think we can make the glass panes, which will be good. Uh and we'll probably save us a lot of hassle now because now the raiders can't spawn which will be nice uh then i think we i think next we should try to flatten the area around the raid farm just to make things easier for us in the future and then we'll start on the villagers um i was gonna say i was literally selling netherite on ismp season two then remembered how much you played of that one yeah i have my reasons for not playing that one but um season three i will definitely be there like very very active we already have plans um and the, the cast that's going to be on that one is uh people that i'm i'm very fond of so i think i'm gonna have a lot of fun with that one and that one's gonna have a new theme it's gonna have like all new stuff hopefully it'll be a little bit different from the isps that you guys are used to so hopefully more interaction between us and stuff it'll be fun another right is so fun to gather if you have a good amount of tnt yeah i think we maybe if we can make a gunpowder farm i don't know if you can make one on here uh, alternatively, every cave we've seen underneath us has been a water cave, so we potentially just make a, a mob farm here, and I think that might be good enough, honestly. Um, and Spirit, thank you for the lurk, by the way. Take care, bro. Have fun with that. Probably won't be playing since I no longer stream, but I'm looking forward to being a viewer. Yeah, I we kicked a bunch of people from ISMP. I think it's, uh, it's, it's mostly, like, essentially a new cast, but, um... I think it's gonna be fun, and uh, yeah, if you if you are around to view it, I I hope you'll enjoy it because I think you guys will. I think I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, let's just honestly let's just smell a stack for now, uh, and let's see how much that gets us. Cause how much? Let's just do a stack for now. Yeah, I think I think that's the best plan. And I think while this melts, we start making a tree farm. I think that's the next play. Because we don't have enough charcoal and it's kind of screwing us right now. Literally just went to check and realized I'm not on the server. I just haven't looked. Yeah. No, it was nothing personal. Uh, we just, we kicked a shit ton of people. Because um, there was a couple issues with season two. 
that I brought up with Ellie and like we we figured out. And then we were like, okay, how do we make season three better? And I think this is like I feel like honestly, season three is gonna be the best season that we've done. I'm genuinely really excited for it. I gotta go so I don't have to download more RAM. Uh good luck getting your nether right eventually, maybe. Thank you for hopping in. Scrub. Have a good one, boy. Completely fair, I haven't played Minecraft in months either. No, dude. I have not played since um since 1.16. I've never played seriously since 1.16. Now we're doing this, and this is a lot of fun. I mean, we're we're making a, a couple of nice stuff. Um, so we have this mini tree farm here. Um, I say we just take these saplings real quick. I don't want more to grow. Uh, we take down these trees, and then we start a tree farm for every sapling that we have. How many do we have so far? We have... Do we only have oak? Do we not even have spruce yet? Uh, no, we have spruce and birch. I, I missed those. Um... Which checks out. We won't have jungle, we won't have acacia, we won't have- And we definitely won't have, like, crimson and stuff, so that sucks. But, um... Well, it sucks, but also, like... What did we expect? We weren't gonna have all that. So I'm thinking the easiest way to get a bunch of wood is just make a shit ton of, uh, space for oak. Because oak is, like... Oak is the tree that can grow next to each other. I might get back into concretion at some point in the future, but trying to do that before I get a better computer does not sound viable. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I'm lucky that I've had this laptop and it's been working pretty well. What's up, boy? Oh, you got a little knowledge shell. I'll take that. You want to drop it for me? Yeah, baby. Thank you. Thank you, boy. Um, I think another thing we can make is a drowned farm, but those kind of piss me off, man. I don't know how, how good it'll be. It also, I feel like having too many farms in this area will be really bad. Um, cause we live here, so I don't know if we want too many. He brought it to you as a gift? Yeah, how kind, what a nice guy. Uh, we're slowly starting our way to making conduit. Cause we have the heart of the sea from earlier. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is, so, we want a mob from here, I think. I think having the- I, I'll put it a little further away. Maybe I'll put it, like, kinda near the ship. I, I want that ship to be unobstructed, though, so we'll put it, like, to the right, like, that way. So that that ship will be there, no matter what. In our view. Uh, I knew there was one I was missing. Um, oh, two. Okay. Is there any more? I think that's it. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, I think a drowned farm, if we make one, it would have to be kind of like, e even further down that way somewhere, like all the way over there. Um, I don't even know if you can make those on Bedrock, honestly. I made one on Java once. I remember and it took ages, because essentially what I had to do was follow the course of a river build up a giant water thing that's along the course of the river again this was on java so i also had a couple things to help me like cord like i could hit f3 and see if i was in the ocean or not anymore and i just went all the way down like i made like a giant strip of river and i just bu i built the water all the way up and that was that was just how i did it and it worked pretty well and I don't know if it ever gave me tridents. I actually did. I think it gave me like three or four tridents. It was actually really helpful. When no one else was online, that was uh, that was amazing. I think... I'm trying to remember what server I made it on. I've, I've been in a lot of servers. It might have been one that I don't want to mention. So we'll just pretend I never said anything. But <laughs> it might be in a, in, a bad, in a bad server that I don't like being with anymore. But um, yeah, it was, it was a pretty cool project. And I think... One day, maybe I'll just go and read the Wikipedia. Because what I would always do, I always liked making my own farms. Or generally, I made my own farms. Like, I don't want to make my own farm for this bitch. Because that's just going to take forever. Yeah, we got way more glass than we needed. But this is actually kind of nice, having this much glass. Um, I wasn't going to make my own farm for this one. That's just too difficult. But like for drowned, like learning how dr drowned spawn and just getting them. All I had to do was build giant river. Put a turtle egg in the middle because they chase turtle eggs. They would all swarm to that turtle egg, and then I just kill them. Like they just drop down, and I kill them. Um, so stuff like that is way easier, you know. It's uh, it's not too hard to to make stuff uh when you have that knowledge. So I remember, like I used to just read through Java, Minecraft, Wikipedia's, uh, and mob like Mobpedia's, and learn how they, how <laughs> how they worked, and that was like my way of, um doing that it was pretty cool i i honestly like i like building my own farms and stuff it's just it's also a giant time uh stealer time waster in a way um 
unless you're like someone big like mango and you're like making money off that stuff but like i'm not so um i like part of me is like is it worth to like do all that anything bigger slash more complex than iron farm is too much for me yeah i dude the thing is honestly the drown farm was fun because it was kind of mindless i could just sit down and place blocks and i knew what i was doing off the top of my head iron farm pisses me off and like also the raid farm is gonna piss me off because i missed some sections uh let's go back and fix that real quick because there it's more likely for um raiders to spawn specifically in that section let's just fix that but yeah it all these these ones piss me off because I need to get villagers in certain areas, and villagers are not nice. They do not try to be friendly to you and make things easy for you. So, kind of annoying. Um, but I kind of have to do it, you know. We also die a lot just trying to spawn. I think it was I season one silver. Now we're trying to set up a uh, wither skelly farm, and that just never went anywhere. We also die a lot just trying to spawn proof. Yeah, I get that. That's going to be fun for me. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Because again, those things are like farms where I just have to place blocks. And that's kind of it, you know? Like, I just go about placing and, and like, spawning, spawn proof. That's fun for me. Because all I have to do is just go in a certain region, place blocks. It's mindless. It's easy. Like, that's peak Minecraft for me. I'm so lazy and I just want to just chill. <laughs> so, um, like, that kind of stuff is just... And also, then I get to talk to you guys more. And that's fun. So, yeah, I think I'm going to enjoy doing a wither skelly, skelly farm whenever I do that. I also, like, when you guys do those farms, do you do, like, wither skelly next to a blaze farm? Or would you put them separate to each other? Because I'm trying to decide that as well. Um, Because I, I wouldn't mind either way. I don't really care. Like, I can just find two fortresses if I really want and uh, do, do it like that. But if I can do it easier and just make it, like, super simple for myself, I'd rather do that, you know? So this is what we're doing. So basically, with these glass panes, now they, they're able to spawn. I'll show you guys if you aren't, like, super Minecraft known. Yeah, they'll be able to spawn in these little areas. And then I think it's, like, the southeast block... I think the one that's southeast from where they spawn is the block that they're spawning on. Because of just how the game works. Um, so, for one, this will help us in the future. Because now, whenever things spawn, um, we'll, we'll know. Like, whenever we feel like building this. But on the other hand, also, we won't have to sit here getting attacked by raiders for, like, ages, you know? Because I'd prefer not to do that. We're going to kill this guy. Um, cause pigs are literally useless in every way if you have cows. So we're just gonna make it easier for cows to spawn. Uh, we can also finally break this thing. There's no real reason to break this. I just want to steal its resources and, um, its wool at the top. Uh, pumpkin melon farm, that's something else that we gotta do. I think we can do that with observers, observers though. So I say we wait till we get to another, cause we don't have any need for it just yet. Uh, we just died a lot because we had to get a fortress in a soul sand slash warp biome because those who have more spawns due to lack of biome mobs and there were skeletons literally everywhere. Oh boy. In a soul sand slash warped biome. Okay, I'll keep that in mind as well because I will need to do that in the future. Pumpkin mail farms are kind of super simple. Yeah, they are. But they require... Um, well, they don't require observers if you want to do a manual one. But I... I don't need it that bad, so there's no point in doing a manual one right now. But, um, also, I do at some point want to, like, make slime farm, like, uh, machine farms. I want to learn, because I've seen, like, I've seen Mango do it before, of, like, flying machines that, that, um, can be, like, wheat farms and stuff. And the flying machine just pushes, like, a, a minecart or whatever, a chest minecart, and that picks up all the loot. Or even if I don't want to do all that, I can just have a machine and then make it all push everything to the end and just have a row of hoppers there. Whatever works, but um, I do want to do some more compl complex stuff or complicated stuff uh, as time goes on. But that's a later issue because right now we've got this. I think this will be good enough for now. Uh, it's just about everything I need for someone who's playing very simply. And my main goal still is to beat the Ender Dragon. Um... We're kind of getting distracted with other stuff. Not distracted, we're just building a base of other stuff first. 
so that when we hop in to uh do that it'll you know it'll be more like we'll be more prepared and stuff okay so now that's pretty good we have done a decent amount to uh make ourselves safe um I haven't touched those or the auto mining things yet. Auto TNT dispensers and stuff. Yeah, those are like, those are interesting, right? But it's like, it just, it it's, it's kind of like, I don't think you can even do it on Bedrock. And if you can, it's just so difficult to understand. Um, What I'm also noticing is they're not, yeah, it's they're like going to fall into the ocean, which sucks. Oh, well, that's just how it goes. I also made the, uh, the crucial mistake of looking at my viewer count. I gotta stop doing that. Especially when Ellie's streaming. <laughs> it's uh it it happens. You get the you get your good streams, you get your bad streams. I've had like a lot of good streams recently, so it I think it's it, when you have too many good streams in a row, you are prone to have a bad stream because no matter what, you're gonna have one stream that you're just like, oh that wasn't good enough. I've done so well recently. So good good on uh Twitch for humbling me. <laughs> All right, I don't think this is gonna. Go These guys are gonna take a while to grow up, like at least twenty minutes, I think. We're just gonna keep filling this up. I think eventually we'll kill these guys, but since they're still laying, we'll do it. Twitch is lying. We actually have four thousand viewers. You're so right. You're so right, dude. Doc made a huge one on Hermitcraft. Uh, the auto TNT. I think he did. I think a lot of people did. They made like giant like world destroyers, as they called them, and those were like crazy. The other 3,999 are actually just being really quiet. Honestly, I just checked. There are actually, like, a decent amount of people just being quiet. But if you mute the tab... If you mute the stream and not the tab, it doesn't count as a viewer for me. So there's people who are in chat, but because they mute the tab... Like, they're just trying to lurk, but because they mute the tab, it... Like... Or, sorry, they mute the stream and not the tab. It, you, Twitch is just like, okay, you're not watching. You aren't going to count as a viewer. So that's just how that goes. Let's do a very small tree farm real quick. Because I don't think we need a huge one. Uh, like, yeah, right now we have a decent amount of wood. We'll make bigger ones later. I also think... Hmm. I'm trying to decide if we want to do everything. Because making floating islands are kind of annoying. I'm trying to decide if we maybe, like... Start flattening, like, this area and make this a tree farm. You know? That way we don't have to build all that. I see that. Oh, I see. That's weird. Yeah. It's just Twitch's way of making sure that you aren't botting and stuff, I guess. Um, and also, the people who, like, your viewer count is, like, actually real compared to how many viewers you have. Um, but, oh well. That's just how it goes. What's up, Ducks for Life? Welcome! How are you doing? We are currently making a tree farm. Um... And then, I, I don't want to spend too much time on a tree farm. I'm trying to think of other stuff I want to do. Because I get distracted so easily. I've done, like, 15 things already. Um, and forgotten 15 other things that I was going to do. But, um... I think something that could be easy to start with could be uh, a mob farm. Because... I mean... I don't know. I want to make a pretty mob farm as well. That's, like, another thing. I don't want it to look super ugly. Like, if I'm going to do it ugly then i'm i want to put it kind of far away like past the ship maybe i'm doing fine i'm a good builder oh nice what kind of stuff do you build i um i'm a really bad builder as you can see by my monstrosity of a base but it's better than i season one because i it, <laughs> in ismp season one i literally just grabbed every block that i had in my inventory and put them in a little shelter and it looked literally it looked horribly gross and people made fun of me for it but it was funny and i i loved it there he is wow ellie thank you for the raid fanny thank you for the hydrate i was about to bring up that house let's not talk about it welcome guys i saw you were playing fall guys earlier i was gonna join you if you were still going after i was um done streaming we were gonna try the april fools update but it was too laggy and it's not as fun if you're alone so i think we'll try it another time but um ellie it could be fun to do a little a little uh SMP kind of thing for you, like a one-time SMP for the April Fool's update. But yeah, welcome everybody. How are you? How are you all? Um, Mason. By the way, there's a command uh, exclamation point Raiders if you want to uh, 
throw that in the uh, chat. But yeah, we're a man's really called a single player world in SMP. It's an SSP. Read it right. Read it right, HSW, please. <laughs> I'm a good mod. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, we're we're currently building a tree farm and stuff. We're we're doing some stuff. Um, on the rat SSP. I don't know if you guys have seen this. If you have not seen it before, we're trying to beat the Ender Dragon in a hardcore world. Uh, until we die, then it's no longer hardcore, but until- uh, as long as we're alive, it's a hardcore world. So, um, yeah. That's fun. And we're doing pretty well. You mind if I join the SMP? It's not an SMP, it's an SSP. It's a survival single player. It's all single player. I- it's- I'm just playing alone. I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. It's going well though. I'm- I'm making some good progress. I think if we, yeah, I mean, if you guys haven't seen this yet, uh, and like if you're new to the, uh, to the streams, if you're new, if you, I, I guess I should like introduce myself. I never introduce myself for Ellie's people because like generally they know me, but if you don't know me, uh, I'm Ari, I'm Ari the Ace. I stream with Ellie a decent amount, so I assume most of you know me. Um, I want to enjoy the SV. Shut up, Ellie. Uh, I'm Ari, I do a variety of games. Currently, we're trying to like beat the achievements in this game. There's a lot to go through, so we're not really looking at any of them specifically, we're just kind of playing. And, uh, we're gonna just make some progress and eventually we'll hopefully get, uh, enough done. That water looks suspiciously bedrock. It is, in fact, bedrock. <laughs> is that Widwi Ollie? Yeah, it is. What's up, Zen? How you doing, bro? There's two mods in the chat for, like, the first time in ages. Mason, meet Zen. One of my best moderators. <laughs> tired that's fair dude i'm tired too it's been a long day i um you guys weren't here for it obviously because you were in ellie's stream but i was getting destroyed dude i was trying to stream and obs would just wouldn't let me and then my ring light wouldn't let me and i was just i was so annoyed <laughs> my authority is being challenged yeah it is i'm sure you guys will get along just fine this is like when um when you have two cats and you kind of like try to force them to be friends and you're not sure if they'll get along like, you just have one cat, and he's chilling with you, but then you get another one, and you're not sure if he'll like the other one, and then just, you're scared that you're gonna cause, like, a fight. That's what's just happening with me right now. I'm just hoping my mods don't fight. <laughs> I'm sure they'll get along. I'm sure of it. I'm sure they'll get along. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, but yeah. We're, we're making some good progress. I don't know what we want to work on next, because we're doing the tree farm, and that's, like, kind of a small thing, and then, um, I, I... I don't know if I want to do the mob farm just yet, because that was kind of an idea I just thought of last minute. Um, and it's just going to be such a... It's going to be so annoying to do. This is more like you got a cat, kind of just leaves, and you're not sure if it's coming back, so you got a new one. And then the old cat shows up again. Yeah, no, you're totally right. That's exactly what it is. I'm going to pee on your stream so everyone knows I'm the dominant one here. Yeah, you own this place. Um, Mason, you were so right. Here's the 4,000 viewers that were definitely in chat, but have just started talking. They're all here now. <laughs> Uh, reference to earlier in the stream. Um, but yeah, Ellie, how was your uh, fall, guys? You got any wins? You, did you? Did you? Did you get any wins? Or did you fail me? Or did you fail our family? I'm in, I, I need to hear from your mouth. Solo, yes? Okay, good. Good. Squad, squad everyone else sucks. My bad. I should have been there. I'm sorry. I already had a stream planned. <laughs> If I was there, we would have we would have destroyed the competition. I don't know if that's true. I haven't I haven't been playing well recently. Actually, we played uh I think we played what yesterday. I played really bad because I was super tired. I think if we played recently or like now, I think I'd I'd do better. I do I do a lot better. <laughs> Bro, I'm so yes, all of you suck. That's crazy, dude. Um, I I believe him. Ellie's good at um. Ellie's good at Fall Guys now. Not now, like, he, he has been recently, but, like, he used to not be, and now he is. So, if he says you guys aren't good, I believe him. Yeah, I, um, I, I, I gotta play Fall Guys again, dude. I, I, like, took such a big break because I was just getting so bored. They just, okay, they weren't making any new stuff, to be honest. I hate having two crafting tables. Um, they weren't making any new stuff for, like, a really long time. So, like, me not being good at Fall Guys is kind of on them. Like, I got bored. But, um, 
I don't know. I, I, I think I could get back into it. I say if we just... If we play, like, for a week straight, which we probably will do with the new uh, update, I think we'll... We'll, uh... We'll destroy. Guys, what... Guess what? My controller is broken again. There's no way it moves forward on its own. Okay. That I'll accept. I'll accept that. Ellie used to say that his control is broken and he would just be like, oh, I'm moving so slow. I'm so much slower than everyone else. I think he's lying. I think he just sucked. Um, but I will accept that the controller moves forward on its own. I think that's a very common issue. We tested and you agree. Yeah, okay. I think it happened for a while, but I don't think it happened since the get-go. I don't think you've always had that issue. There's no way. I refuse. I refuse to believe you've always had that issue. I think it was a new thing that showed up like this new thing. Like this, this suddenly broke all of a sudden, but it wasn't always like this. I'm, I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying. There we go. <laughs> I was lagging. My ping was bad. Yeah, exactly. That's Ellie's, that's all of Ellie's silly little excuses. All right. Um, is there anything actually down here? If there's, I say we just grab some of the resources. Uh, or... Oh, okay, there's a there's another exit through here, so we'll go we'll get those another time when we actually have the Dude, literally every cave in this area is water. I don't know what it is. Every cave we've found so far has been a water cave. It's been so unlucky because I can't actually mine them. But you know. It does help, like I said, for a mob farm, because now mobs aren't gonna spawn too much underwater other than the drowned. Um so that's like one nice thing, but my G, I never look for silly excuses. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure. <laughs> my voice is get good. Real gamers. Real gamers play with their bare hands if the controller is broken. Yeah. Yeah, you code the game and you fix it like that. All right. That's how real gamers play. No, I listen. I, I think that it was broken for a solid amount of time, but I dis I I refuse to believe that it was broken to the extent that you're saying. That's just crazy talk. There's no way it was broken so bad that you couldn't, like, that you've you've not been able to run properly for, like, a year of playing. Like, a straight year of playing. That's impossible. My G. That turned to grass immediately. Dang. Can it, can grass go through the floor? Like, it turned to grass through the floor? <laughs> like you code your homework never mind yeah i don't code my homework uh unless the authorities are watching then i code all my own stuff and uh for legal reasons this is a joke there we go um there we go there we go all right this is looking pretty good we got a nice little place to put trees um if you guys for all of you who missed it earlier we what we've done so far we built a little wheat potato carrot farm over there. And then we have this pillager outpost that has been throwing... Oh, grass has a five block infection range. That's actually amazing. Um, this pillager outpost has been spawning raiders, um, like pillagers, and they've been kind of annoying. So uh, you raiders are annoying. <laughs> I say to all the people just raided from Ellie's side. Um, so we just clean the... Oh, oh, cave in. Whoops. Uh, whoa, wait. Oh, okay, this is the same one as before. For a second, I thought we uncovered, like, a whole new cave. Um, so, yeah, we cover, we just kind of covered the land with leaves, and then we put some glass panes at the top so that no raiders can spawn for now. Or, like, they can't run outside and attack us. They can still spawn a little bit. Um, and later, we're going to turn that into a raid farm, but right now, we're just not pressed enough to do that. So, that's a later issue. We'll get to it one day, but not now. Okay, that should be good enough. A um, couple more blocks there. That. There we go. Okay. Uh, this is this is a good amount of area for what we want to do. So for now, we're literally just going to put all of these, like, in a row. We'll do, like, a little square of them. Or rectangle. <laughs> I don't know what that reference is. A whole new cage. Ellie made a reference that I, I didn't get. Oh my god, this is like the first time ever. I've made a couple references that he didn't get, and I was totally fine with it. But, um... 
You're Indian, come on. Am I supposed to know? Oh, a whole new world. Okay. All right. That's a reference that I'd get. I just, I, it didn't, it, it's fine. <laughs> I didn't process it. That's right. Okay. Um, we need to make a new axe. There is a dead sheep over here. Well, thank you for the free food. There's a wolf around here somewhere. That's for sure. We're going to kill you off. Thank you. Dead chicken too. Oh, dude, the the, the other fox that we found is so close to those chickens that it just won't kill them, which is really funny. Um, after you said a whole new world, that I I got I I I know what Aladdin is. I just I didn't get that it was an Aladdin reference. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, we're making some good good steps towards beating the Ender Dragon. I think we have not got Blaze. We've not got. Uh, ender pearls. We still haven't even gone to the nether. So yeah, a lot of good steps being made. Uh, I'm gonna hop off because I'm sleepy. All right, Zen. Thank you for thank you for being here. Take care. Much love. Adios. Get out. <laughs> um, here we go. I'm scared, man. I haven't gotten an Ellie raid in so long because normally we're like streaming together. This is terrifying, guys. I'm scared. Don't hurt me. <laughs> There we go. So this is the start of the farm that we did. Um, unfortunately, it's a little bit uh, <laughs> lackluster. It's not great, but you know, it is what it is. And I'm proud of it. See ya, other mod. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for not fighting for your rights or whatever. Appreciate it. Uh, what do we want to do next? I had a couple things in mind. Um, I wanted to move villagers. It's gonna suck though. Oh my god, I hate moving villagers. If anything, let's see how far. Let's see how far that um ice area is. I'm a gracious moderator. Yeah, you are. Um, where's my boat? I think is it still? Oh, yeah, it's still over there. We are not gonna plant these for now. We'll plant them another time because I don't care too much. The tree farm, we're gonna have to probably make like, uh, we can't even do TNT duplicating, duplicating, that's the thing. If we could do that, TNT farms would be much easier. But if we make TNT farms and then just put them in a whole block of wood, make a 3,000 per iron per hour iron farm. I honestly was thinking about doing like a pretty fast iron farm, but first we want to do raid farm and then we want to make a village and like a kind of place to sort the village. Okay, that was like 205-ish, so like 200 so this has to be at least 300, which it's looking like it's more than enough away. Yeah, that's easily 300, so it's more than 100 blocks. We'll put it on that side of the island. Like, we won't do it over here because it's still a little close. But I think we should be fine making our village over there. Um, So what we're going to need, I think we're going to need a lot of cobblestone walls, first of all. Uh, and then, oh wait, there's a entrance on this side. We're gonna need a lot of cobblestone walls, and then we're gonna need a lot of, um, boats <laughs> to get the villagers across. And then, what makes, I don't think iron farms are very easy in bedrock, actually, plus you need villagers. We have villagers, that's the thing. Uh, and we do need villagers also for this guy. Um, the problem is, ouch, we, uh, we don't have, like, what's the problem? Is there a problem? No, there's no problem. <laughs> the problem is, no, the problem is that I don't want to do it. That's the problem. I hate, I hate working on that stuff. It's so annoying. Villagers are the worst possible creature to work with in Minecraft. All right, here's what we am going to do. We're going to make two stacks, I think, should be enough of cobblestone walls. Because you can't lead them or anything. Like, we even have leads. But you can't do that. You can't hold wheat or anything to get them to come to you. Like, there's nothing you can do. It's so annoying. The only thing... Can mobs spawn on ice? And if not, how do we light up the ice? Or... Do we just put a bunch of blocks there? Like, alternatively, we just put... Uh... There's a little trip with villagers. Bells scare them, and you can use beds to lure them. That's fair. That's a good idea. Hmm. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We, for now, 
We're gonna take a couple blocks. We're gonna take like diorite and stuff like blocks I don't care about, like andesite diorite. We'll use that for like the base. Um more andesite here. We'll we'll use okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over to the village. We're gonna um scare them into we're gonna put them in boats, I think, first of all. And make a little track to get the boat to where we want it to go. Hi, sheepy. I'm gonna need some sheep later as well. Are you is there another wandering trader? Yeah, there is. What do you have to sell? Anything fun? Definitely not. Uh cool. Red sand, azure bluet, gray dye, al 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 alium, uh, seeds, and blue ice is the only good thing and six emeralds, so that's not worth you know what? All of you die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, that's what I thought. You ever try to you try to scam me again, I'll kill you again. I'll do it every time. I did not check the time before running off, but there are um beds here. Hello, Mr. Hayes, who is Ari. I don't know if Mr. counts, but hello. What's up? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. There's a second one already? Damn. Just killed your ass. I killed your friend, and I'm gonna kill you too. Wow, you're useless. Wow, you're so useless. Okay. I don't even care. I don't even care enough to kill you. That's how I feel about you. Okay. Um. Welcome, Gurhook. How are you doing, bro? Uh, we are currently trying to make a village. Excuse me. I'm sleeping in your bed tonight. What we're going to do is um keep one villager in this area. Because we're going to put them at the pillager outpost. Um, and there's a bell. Okay. I say... Hmm. You know what? Let's scare them to their beds and then lock them in their houses. That's what we're gonna do first. I'm also realizing I didn't- oh, I did bring food. Let's go. Alright. Go back to your houses. Please and thank you. Uh, are you not gonna go? Please? Dog? Are you not scared? You should be scared. Go home. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna block that up. Okay. And we're just gonna do that for everyone. I'm really happy about the build I did today for my 30 days of building challenge. Hey, good job. Nice. Nice to hear. Let's find every other villager and block them in their houses so that we can, um... Just make sure they're safe. And then we'll slowly, one by one, take them to where we want to take them. Ideally, we just put the village here, but it's too close to a pillager outpost, and it's gonna end up uh, not being great for us. Okay, now we can start eating our beef. So much beef. That's so much beef with you guys. All right, go home. There we go. Okay, we saw one. Go in. Oh, there's two in here. Are there two beds in there, or are they just kind of hiding in there together? Uh, no one in here. Uh, is there one in here? No. I saw another guy run off. I, oh, I never took the stuff. Not that I really want it, but screw it, I'll take it. <laughs> None of it's actually helpful, but... Um, he's a very brave villager. <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh... Although there is a... difference between brave and stupid. Alright, we're gonna block you in here as well. Uh, is that all? Is that everyone? Let's look around a little bit. Is there anyone in this house, maybe? Nope. Um, beetroot! Oh my gosh, we missed this earlier. Let's yoink that. It's also possible we didn't miss it earlier and the villager just replanted it. But, regardless, good for us. Okay. We're gonna steal this. Um... Okay, we're just gonna start taking the doors off places that don't have villagers, so that we don't have to worry about that. Um, I mean, they're kind of blocked in as well, so it's fine. But, we're gonna take these doors off. <laughs> Stole your door! <laughs> I'm like, I'm like that one guy. In that one series. In that one... Uh, hermit cr her <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, beds. We gotta take that. I wish beds would stack. That'd be so cool. They made doors stack. Can they make beds stack? Um, 
Now, I think the easiest thing... There's also cats here, dude. I want the cats. I will need to tame them eventually for uh, achievement, but also just they're cute. Um, now it's your time to die, because you, you decided to stick around when you could have just let it be over. You could have left, could have left the area and been fine, but you just refused to do that! A boop she doop, a door she be doop. Yep. That song that, that one guy made. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't remember his name though. Uh, I also want that. Go home. Uh, please go home. Thank you. It, good job, idiot. Uh, are you home? You are home. You're gonna get blocked in here. I gotta make sure to actually cl close both sides because something I never, uh, some uh, a dumb move I made once was um letting. Is there one in here? No. A, a dumb move I made once was keeping it open and then where are you trying to go? Ah, I see now. There's a chest here. Okay, nothing good. I left it open and then baby zombies were able to just come in and kill everyone. And I messed up. That was my mistake. So I'm trying to make not the same mistake again. JC the flute boy. I don't get the reference. Guys, I don't get it. Guys, what's the joke? Alright, we're gonna steal this. Let's just... Honestly, let's just steal all these because we're gonna need to put them over there anyway. Um... I also gotta figure out, uh, I don't feel like doing it today, but eventually I'm gonna have to figure out what villagers do what profession and give what items. Like, which ones do I want to farm? Which ones do I want to deal with? But that's a later issue because it just takes so much effort to do that stuff. I know that I have a list of everything somewhere, but, um, you know. I don't feel like looking for it right now. Do we have two of these churches? We had one, I thought we saw one earlier as well. Uh, or is this the same one? I think it's the same one, never mind. I love how everyone, as soon as Ellie shows up, everyone just goes, Oh, hi Ellie, what's up? <laughs> you guys are all the same. Oh, I see it in all of you. I see it first in a shock. Now I see it in men. Oh, what are you doing out, bud? You need to go home, go home. Run! Run faster! Uh, where are you going? Are you going home? Let me try that again. You have to- you are scared now. There's a raid. Go. Please? It won't listen to me. It doesn't like me. It's just staring me down, dude. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. No! Uh, this is why I hate villagers. They just start moving as soon as you're close to trapping them in. They're the worst! I'm trying to save you, bro! Stop moving! If you just stop moving, I'll save you, man. I'll sa I'll literally keep you alive. Are you trying to get up there? Well. Okay. I'm gonna make you Harry Potter, alright? You're gonna sit under the stairs. Right here. Okay? And this is gonna be your home now. Uh, there we go. And if honestly, if you go in like the corner there, I can like shove you into the corner here. Oh no, you're good. You're good. All right, you're safe in there. Nothing can get you now. I think I can even break this. Yeah. Perfect. All right. We'll come back for you. Don't worry. <laughs> um. He just really liked ten minutes ago. Yeah. Well, I'll be honest. I wasn't expecting to see Ellie. He he shows up in like almost all my streams nowadays. He's always there. He's my boy. He likes to support me and stuff. Um, in his own words, the more success I get, it's success for both of us. So, <laughs> uh, which I love that sentiment. We're boys. Success for one of us is success for both of us. I like that. Uh, what do we want though? What do we want to do? Um. I I think I want to... I'm going to go and put some of this stuff... Or you know what? We have chests. Let's put some stuff in our chests. And I say we just start tearing down this village. I think that's the first thing we want to do. Because, um... For one, we need all the beds for later. And for two, it's just going to be easier... Uh... To, to move everything when we know... Like... When we have everything, like... Cleaned up. And flattened. 
I gotta get ready for bed soon, so I'm gonna go for now. All right, Mason, thank you so much for uh, for for modding and for being here. You missed mod day, but happy mod day as well. Um, yeah, take care, dude. Mace the ace. <laughs> what should I have for dinner, boys? I don't have any plans for dinner. Anyone got any ideas? I always forget to plan. I mean, I kind of had dinner already, but um, the only person I mod for, I'm glad I finally got a stream again. Yeah, I feel like I, I don't stream at the best times for you, according to you, but I am glad you were able to make it as well. I, um, I mean, I stream at essentially the same time every day. So, <laughs> you're either here or you're not. Like, it's pretty difficult to make it if you just haven't made it to the other ones. Because it's like, what are you going to do different? But, um, yeah, I'm glad you were able to make it. That is not going to stop the water. Great, thanks. Are bells waterlogged? Yeah, they are. I got to use an actual full block. Like a pumpkin. Alright. Yeah, this is going to take a while. But as soon as we flatten everything, it's going to make all of it. Because, dude, villagers suck so much. I don't feel like leaving anything to chance. Let's just... Make it as simple as possible to steal all the villagers um, and put them into our little factory <laughs> that we're about to put them into. Food is a good idea for dinner? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what kind of food, though. I am thinking pasta. The problem is I'm impatient as all hell, and pasta takes a while to make. Um, but I had instant noodles a lot recently, and I haven't had pasta for a while. So I think that's the play. We will see. Hi, little cow. Where are your parents? Why are you just alone here? It's a rough, rough world out here, apparently, because I think this guy's parents are dead. All right, let's keep those alive, actually. Having some light won't be bad for us. Um. All right. What's nice is also we got blue ice around. We can easily make like another highway and stuff. Um, so I'm kind of hyped. We got some good, good. We have like a genuinely good spawn. Um, and, you know, I think I'm, I'm pretty excited for what we got going. I do usually prefer edible food. I don't know about you. Well, I think pasta is in fact an edible food. Um, so, you know, just throwing that out there. But, you know, you, know, you do you. Oh, that was a good crack. I think you guys heard that. I love when I'm able to crack into the mic because now I have my headphones set to hear everything I say. So I also hear the crack and I know what you guys are hearing. And it's great. It's such a solid one. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely going to take like a... Because I also want to tear down this thing because it's literally in the pathway to where we need to go. So it, like I said, it's going to take a while. But all of this work is just going to expedite the process of actually moving the villagers along because that's what's gonna suck the most like all of this this is stuff i enjoy doing i just get to tear stuff down you know i love destruction love some good old uh breaking of homes of people um but at the end of the day uh it's it's definitely gonna be faster to do this in the long run plus it gives us some good materials like i like mossy stone uh, which you can make now with vines. You've had, you've been able to make for a while, but you you need silk touch to get the ice, right? Yeah, I do. Blow it up. I don't. Ha I have like one. I have enough gunpowder for one TNT. Do you need some sort of physics sandbox game to destroy stuff in? Well, I have it. It's called Minecraft. I'm honestly a little upset that I won't be able to stream Frog Detective tomorrow. I was really excited to play that. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm, I might do it next, when, next Tuesday. Um, cause I just need a break, man. Like I, I've been working so hard and I just, like, I think you guys can even tell I'm like, I'm a little tired. Like I need actual rest. So tomorrow and probably Wednesday, I won't be streaming. Wednesday, I'm not hundred percent sure yet. If I, I mean, I could do frog detective, but it's like a longer stream. I kind of want, I like telling you guys ahead of time that I'm doing stronger, uh, longer streams. So that you guys can, um, like, just be aware. You'll know that I'm going to be streaming for most of the day. So you'll know that you can hop in, probably. Because when I do those longer streams, I normally start around 2. Um, 2 p.m. Is there a game called Teardown? That's, like, 
<laughs> is there a game that's literally just made to destroy stuff? I'm unsurprised, actually. I know there's like a voxel-based one that was kind of like that. Yeah, dude. I'm I'm waiting for the next game that really like grasps me, you know? Like all these games have been fun, but I'm waiting for the next power wash or the next like what's a game that's like really gotten me? Like Celeste, you know? I'm waiting for that next game. Celeste was also on sale recently, by the way. I should have probably told you guys earlier, but I mean, if you got it, pretty good game. Solid fucking game. Love it. Um <laughs> love it so much I got a tattoo of it. Um, yeah, that's a good one, but I need more games like that. I think next might be Spiritfarer. Also, I, uh, there's a game leaving Game Pass this month, uh, that I want to, that I started already, so I want to play it. Um, so I gotta, I, 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 I might take my break time to just play a game on my own and try to play that a little bit. It was, it's Rainbow Six Extraction, which isn't terrible for stream but i kind of just want to enjoy it on my own because it's stressful and i play it really slow like i like being very careful when i'm playing um well i think a lot of people because it's pve it's pretty easy to just rush in and kill and i'm just not that type of player in that type of game so um uh satisfactory i feel like i've heard of it i've heard of it so many times and i think i've been suggested before as well and i'm trying to remember what it is but i can't remember what the game actually is about I wouldn't mind giving it a try, though. Open world factory builder. Is it the 2D kind of, like, factory builder? Because I think I might know what you're talking about, actually. But I think... No, that's Factorio. That's the one I'm talking about. Crap. I don't know why I struggle so much to remember these games. 3D? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I'll give it a go. I don't know what I'm looking for, honestly, in games. Like, I don't know what game I'm looking for, like, what I'm trying to, trying to play. Like, I don't have any specific games in mind. I think for now, I'm just going to play Extraction until it leaves Game Pass. Hopefully, we'll be able to finish it. Like, I'll be able to finish it. I'll probably just play alone. Hopefully, I'll be able to finish it before Game Pass takes it off. But, um, if not, I'll just, uh, whatever. I can pop a trailer in the Discord if you want. Yeah, go for it. I'll watch it later. I should say, I've been wanting to say this recently, um, not at anyone or anything, but just like as a general thing, uh, I don't really like getting DMs on Discord anymore because I kind of reset up some of my settings because I needed to get important updates about friends and stuff. So if you, uh, if you want to contact me, best place, to, like for silly things, best place to do it is, uh, is my Discord server. Uh, and... If it's really important, or if it's about something in the Discord that's upsetting you or something, then you can DM me. But um, if you don't think it's important, uh, I'd prefer if you kept that stuff to Discord. Thank you very much! Oops. Alright, we took this church down pretty quickly. Which is not a good thing to do. I don't like destroying religious <laughs> areas. It, but, you know, it's, it's Minecraft, so I think it's fine. I think it passes. Um... Okay, just want to collect all the items. I don't know if we're gonna uh, flat like make all this flat, but I think here it'd be a good idea too, just cause um, oh baby kitty, uh, just cause it's like you know um, it's gonna get in the way f again for us transporting the villagers. Um, I barely use DMs personally. Yeah, I um. I, for a long time, I let people just kind of DM if they wanted to, and it was like, it's fine. But, it's, I don't know. I think recently, I, I've had a shift in mindset on DMs, and I would prefer to not use them for stuff like that. Let's just make a um, stone pick for now. We'll go and make an iron one another time. We also really gotta get diamonds. I think we do another mining stream soon. Maybe a little bit further away from where our home is, because we got really unlucky. Um, in terms of, like, just finding places that weren't covered in water, we were not getting lucky at all. So, yeah. I think that's the next thing that we gotta do. I don't care about getting this glass. Let's just break it. 
such a satisfying sound. Oh, I hear a zombie. Pop the trailer and are you okay? Thank you. I will give it a look whenever I get a chance. I'm sure it's fun. I'm sure it's great. Um, I just... I, I don't know. I also just haven't been in the mood for different games lately. I just play Hi-Fi Rush, and then otherwise it's just stuff that Ellie and I play. Like, I don't think I've been playing many different games. And even Hi-Fi Rush, like, I'm not getting bored with, but, like, I know eventually I will want to be done with it. So I've been trying to put in a little effort into actually beating it so that it can be, like, done and over with. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about what we want to do because, uh, I don't know. Cause I, I like, I started this thing of like, oh, let's, you know, be a uh, hundred games in 2023 and it started well. I started with like, I technically I've beat 11, but there's eight in my counter. Um, and it's been fun, but then I don't know. I just got busy with school, I think. And I think that makes it more difficult to do stuff like that. Um, maybe during like breaks, I'll be able to get back into it. It's definitely fun if you enjoy more of an optimization challenge. I do. I kind of do. But at the same time, it depends. You know, I got to see what kind of game it is specifically. Because um, I do like optimization to some extent. But I also, like, can get bored with it pretty easily. So we'd have to see. But I don't mind giving it a go. I'll definitely try. Um, I'm trying to... I want to keep some of the village around, but I don't know if it's going to look ugly if there's just a couple houses around. So I don't know if it's better to just remove any trace of there ever being a village here in the first place. But that seems kind of fucked up. So I'm a <laughs> I don't know if that's the play. Uh, We'll see. We will see. I can't wait to play this game multiplayer again. That's what I'm really waiting for. This is all just leading up to ISP, honestly. Like, we're trying to just beat the... Dragon before ISB starts because that's just oh god. It's gonna be so much fun It's been so long since we've done stuff like that or since I've done stuff like that because I just didn't do um I didn't do season two too much So I'm very excited And I think we started this series early enough that one we can beat the Ender Dragon But second of all that it doesn't like feel like I'm just constantly just playing the early parts of the game, you know like, we did it now, but then it's still going to be a couple of months until, like, I don't know if we've even announced it. We don't even really have a date set. So, like, whenever that starts, I'm sure that it'll, it, like, I won't get too, like, tired of the game or be like, oh, I just, you know, uh, I just made my whole world and now I have to do it all again, you know? Because I think uh, we were just, I was just talking about this with some of my friends about how, it's likely that Mumbo stopped posting Hermitcraft because it was just like, there's no new stuff to the update. And um, it kind of got to a point, I'm sure, like, I would assume it kind of got to a point where it was just like, what's the point of just playing again? Like, just because every season they just have to do all the same grindy stuff in the beginning before they start doing new stuff, like making new bases and challenges and mini games and stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's the reason he kind of disappeared for a while. And then even now is kind of like not doing Hermitcraft stuff too much. Cray switch streamer raises local time levels it completely next on 5 o'clock news. Whatever we make get on news. Yeah. Exactly. I'm crazy. I'm gonna I'm gonna destroy all your villages. No, I think we're just I think for now we're just gonna break stuff in a straight line so that we can uh just take a boat. Cause I I don't wanna use all that iron for a minecart rail system. Because I think we already have the achievement for, um, I think we already have the on rail achievement or whatever. Let's just scroll, scroll. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, then maybe it's a good idea to do this. But also part of me thinks that I should make an iron ar iron farm first. Um, and then after that's done, we can make the, because like we don't have enough iron to do that right now. It doesn't make sense to do it right now. Yeah, I think I think for now we avoid using any uh, minecart rails if we can avoid it. Because we also have a giant ocean across. So um, what I can do is just... I can go over across the ocean, build a little base, build some beds, 
put a bell there and then hopefully everyone will get scared go to their bed and then I can just lock them in easily you know seems like the best play right now because um because using minecarts it's easier it's more like it, it's better but it's just it's way too uh expensive for me right now I don't have those resources I think I only have like a stack of iron I'm pretty sure we just checked Unless I do the incredibly boring thing of making, like, one set of rails, and then I just go back, break the old ones, replace them in front, and that would just take forever. It doesn't seem worth it. Also, is there a baby villager just chilling around? I also heard an enderman. Yeah, there is. Hi. Your head is huge, loser. Um... <laughs> I just heard an Enderman, and I have not seen an Enderman yet this game, so... I don't know if- we... Oh, hi. I don't know if we want to bother trying to find where he is, but, um, it's good to know. I think part of the reason Mumbo isn't posting much is A, he's traveling more, and B, his former upload schedule was crazy intense. That's the thing, but he's uploading more because he's taking a break, right? Like, he's not- it's not a thing- I don't think it's a thing that came naturally. I think he just decided he needed a break, so that's when he was like, okay, I'm gonna- Start traveling and go out. Uh, okay, we're gonna make some of this and then make some of this and then make some. Uh, oh, we don't have any stone. Well, oh, hi, bye. Not gonna bother. Uh, does this guy have a guy in it? No, it doesn't. Okay, I think I need. Oh, I just need a shovel. I'm not going to bother with the Enderman because he's just going to teleport away because it's daylight anyway. I'm sure one of these days we'll try to actually kill these guys, but for now, we're just going to chill. I'm also breaking the path blocks not just because they're ugly, but also because they fuck with boats. They get in the way because they're too short, so they get in the way of the boats, and it's kind of annoying. So we're going to try to make that easy ahead of time. Uh, I think the first thing we do is... Hi there. Oh, there's a lot of you boys. I'm like scared, kind of scared. I also don't have in, as much uh, food. There we go. Uh, I, I, my food's kind of low, so I don't wanna. I say we make, first of all, just make it easy for this guy to go. I think the one that we're gonna keep in, uh, in the village is gonna be that one that we trapped under the stairwell. Um, Cause he seems like the most, like the easiest one to just keep here. And he's special, because he, he doesn't have a home anyway, so. I'd say, yeah, I think boats are like two by two. So we just gotta get like all of this path out of the way. And then we just make a straight line from there. I don't even think we need walls. I think if we do it, if we do it right after we wake up, we'll have like an easy, we just go through here and then we just start making like a, a course through here. Uh, what do I- I don't have my hoe, okay. Um. The problem is getting everything on one level. It's just gonna look so ugly. That's another thing that pisses me off. It's level 65 and our base is at 64. But it's just gonna look so ugly to do it like this. I also think I might end a little bit early, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I, uh, like I said, I've been working very hard lately. I've been uh, doing a lot of school stuff and also just like streaming every day and it's not an issue I like streaming every day. It's just uh, or at least like I stream most days. What the heck is this? Wow, you are very broken aren't you? This music is different Maybe not different, but I haven't heard it and I I've never noticed it It's got kind of a sharpness in the sound that I, uh, I'm not used to Okay, at this point, I'm just fixing all these. Oh there's a cave. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah. So, I don't mind streaming every day. It's fun. It's just, um... Alongside all the other work I'm doing right now, I'm, like, getting kind of drained. So, I don't know if I can do longer streams for a bit. Um... It also doesn't help that, like, being home alone. Like, I'm not as good at cooking for myself. Um... Because I'm, like, working nonstop on other stuff. And then, also having to cook is just kind of, like the worst uh i don't think yeah we can't flatten this whole area let's just flat as much as we can 
Um, so I don't even think we're going to start moving the villagers. We're just going to make a system where they can start moving. And then we'll be good. This music is very good. I don't know how often they make new music, but this is good. I like it. Okay. Um, I say this is where we use a little bit of cobblestone. A wee bit. Just a wee bit of cobblestone. So that we know kind of where the, the path has been shifted. Um, so that whenever we want to fix it, we can. So it starts from this one. This one. So it goes to here. And it just needs to be, it needs to be a flat line no matter what. So all this needs to go. And then we're probably gonna have to dig out some of those blocks as well. It either has to be a flat line or go down, but it can't go up. That's the thing, because it's a boat. So, um, we're just gonna start going with this. And hopefully this should be good enough. And then I say we just go to the other side real quick and make a quick little base for us to, um, to make it easier, and then we should be good. Sorry, I'm gonna leave that tree floating. I don't care. Losers. Losers. And we'll make this look pretty another day, I think, after all the stuff's been moved. How much? I did not bring enough cobblestone for this. We'll make all this look pretty another day, uh, because I don't want it to just be like this forever. But, for now, um, it's just gonna have to look ugly, because the whole point is just to move these guys across. I hate villagers, man. You guys don't even know. Every time I have to do villagers, I lose interest in the game. But I think since we're doing a bit ahead of time to fix things, we should be okay in terms of, you know, getting these villagers across. How does it... I don't get how it places down here when I'm literally pointing here. It's because I was holding left trigger, but just that's such a weird way to make the game. I've never liked that about Bedrock. Like, some of the ways that we can place is idiotic. <laughs> it's really annoying. Right, let's just go through here. These leaves might decay, so I might have to... Because I'm going to break this wood, obviously. So, um... I might have to replace some of these leaves with, uh, cobblestone. But, this is a perfect, uh, uh, way just right over there. This is awesome. So yeah, as soon as we do this, we can uh, go to the other thing and we can uh, place them over there. And then, I don't know if there's a way to make a boat go up. We'll have to, I'm gonna research that in the middle uh, between streams and see if there is a way. But I think now we take, first of all, I, wanna, I also wanna plant these seeds that we got. These and these and these. Um, But, we can make a bit of a place over there. One piston, one button should be sufficient. That's true. I can do that. Yeah. One lever, I guess. But yeah, I can do that. That's true. I will uh, actually set that up right now just to make things easier. What else did I need? I needed a bed, which is down there. I need a bell over there as well. Um, okay. We're going to take this. We are going to take... We're going to go back to our base real quick. You know what, let's take some of these things anyway, just so we can transport them faster. Because eventually we're going to need to transport everything anyway. I also need that, um, those cobblestone walls, which I forgot, so that's good. Let's go over there. Daisy! What's up, bro? How you doing? How are you feeling? Chilling in space? Um, we're currently trying to set up a villager transport for next stream. Because that is like the most annoying thing in the world, in the entire Minecraft world. So, we're trying to do that. It's going pretty well, actually. Honestly. Like, I'm, 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 uh, the, the piston with a lever should make this easier than I thought it would be. So, I think I could honestly boat them right over there, place them in, and we're good. I'm going a little crazy doing Warrock, so happy for the background entertainment. Uh, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not going to be here for very long. I will say that. I I am not going to be streaming for like much longer, but I got you for the next little bit of time. I got you. I'm here. I'm here for a little bit. But you might need to find someone else after a little bit. <laughs> I'll take the little bit of time. Hell yeah. I'll see if there's someone I can raid who can... Fulfill your entertainment desires. 
Um, we do have redstone, right? I think we just saw some. Yeah, okay, sick. This is perfect. Okay, we can easily... We're gonna make two pistons, actually, because I think we're gonna end up needing two. So, 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 where are you? There you are. One and two. And we put you back. We're gonna need two because, um... We're gonna need one to get them out of the water, uh, off the ice. And then when we're on the ice, we're also gonna need... I, I don't want to, uh, break too much ice and put the blocks in there. So we're gonna put these, like, diorite and blocks as the floor of that area for now. We'll make it look pretty another time. Um, but for now, we're gonna... Because the thing is, do mobs spawn on ice? Let's check real quick. Minecraft bedrock... Do mobs spawn on ice? Let's say on uh, on packed ice, because we know it's packed. They can. Do do torches break or melt uh packed ice? Cannot be melted. Okay. Maybe the play. Mobs no spawn on ice. I think. No, they can, yeah. Regular ice, they don't. Okay, I think that is packed ice over there, so I think the play is... Oh, wait, there's so much space over there. Wait, that's all flattened, mostly. Okay, we'll put them over there. I think the play, then, is to just use the diorite and stuff as walls, and then whenever I want to expand and make the walls look nicer, I'll do that, like, another time. But for now, we can just get them over there, and it'll be fine. Regular ice, they don't, because regular ice is a transparent block, yeah. Maybe it's different on bedrock. No, I think it's. I think it's the same. They can spawn on packed ice, which is what I searched up, so. There the, the eggs are. Um, any eggs from you? Nope. I'm surprised by that. Okay, all these guys are big, so I think we can finally kill the little guys and make the fox alone. There we go. Alright, fox, please. I don't want to hit you. Oh, I hit you anyway. Alright, well, you killed the chicken, so that's good. Sorry, fox, I didn't mean to... <sighs> I don't think we're going to need two pistons then, so that's good. I mean, I'll have it for later. I'm sure I'll use it another time. We were just talking about doing it for um, for the uh, kelp farm at some point. Which, actually, we have so much space here. I say we just do it here. Is that kelp? That is kelp. Yeah, perfect. All right, we got plans for next stream then. I say we do... Actually, no, we need observers. That's the thing. Okay, so we can't do that just yet. So, here's what we're going to do next. We are going to make an iron pickaxe because we have not had one for a bit i'm gonna put this iron away because i don't want to die with all of it or something that would be uh really bad let's plant these seeds actually we can plant the normal seeds as well because uh, i don't think we have much wheat over here okay uh and i think this is wheat one of these is wheat there it is Oh, excuse me, thank you. That I mean, not thank you. No one said bless you. I just imagined to bless you. I meant it, thank you. I mean, I didn't mean thank you. I meant sorry, but then I flubbed. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, we also need a cow farm. That's another thing that's gonna suck. You've been blessed. Yeah. I've been hit by. I've been struck by. Okay, I think we just put it here because there's a bunch of flat spot here. I think eventually, whenever we get silk touch, we'll break some of these things down, um, and 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 make something proper here. Uh, I think, actually, this is nice and flat here too. I don't really need like too much space. So, um, oh, this is perfect. This is more than enough space. Uh, how far? I keep thinking it's a hundred blocks. Now that we're searching stuff up, let's check. How far do villages have to be apart bedrock? 32 blocks? Really? No. Distance between villagers. At least 65 blocks. Okay, so I have more than enough space. I thought it was 100. I don't know why I thought it was 100. Okay. No, that's great. I mean, I'm not complaining. This is actually perfect for me, but um, that's surprising. That's for sure. Alright, here's what we gotta do. We gotta do... One, two. Nope. Uh, sorry. We gotta do high drowned. I see you. What? Can you can you quit it? Can you quit? Can you chill? Okay. Thank you. Uh, we need to 
go one, two, and three. And then we need the piston over here. And then we need a lever, which we'll just put. I assume it doesn't go over. Oh my god, it does. Wow, look at that. And theoretically, if I go here and I do that, there we go. Yay! Oh, and then we can just go drifting. There we go. Um, I forgot. Yeah, this isn't an igloo. I was I was hoping it was an igloo, but there's none. My warranty on the controller has expired, even though I got it very, very recently. So I opened it up and cleaned it with some electronics cleaner. Yo, congrats, dude. It's so trippy because bedrock lighting is much better and ice is actually see-through. Yeah. Yo, congrats. You fixed it yourself, bro. You're becoming a true, uh, independent man. That's great. I, um... Oh, you know what? We did bring the cobblestone walls here for the sole purpose of putting the villagers in them. <laughs> a true father, yeah. Uh... I guess, let's keep the walls for, um... The outsides of the boat area. Because now we're just using this, these gross blocks for now anyway. Um... So yeah, I say we we just let's just make it this long, I guess. I say we just um use the walls around where the boat's supposed to go just in case there's any issues. Uh is this big enough? Yeah, this is like more than big enough. For the size of village we want to make, this is like way more than we need. Um We're literally this is just gonna be like my house, ISMP season one. Like it's nothing it's not gonna look nice. Uh, but it will be good for us. Um, like we'll be able to keep all the villagers here. The only thing I, I, I'm realizing is I'll probably need to put, leave them all in boats so that they don't escape. Uh, no, actually, no, I think it'll be fine. I think I can, I can make this work. Okay. So, for now, we'll keep this open for when the boat comes in. Um, yeah, okay, this is perfect. We put, like, a bed here. We, we'll put the beds along the sides here. And then, um, we'll put, like, all the workstations around here. Uh, and eventually, we'll put some ladders on the inside and outside. Or we'll just, like, leave, like, a... Uh, again, this is not meant to be pretty for now. <laughs> it's, it is very ugly, and I'm aware of that. Let's just use diary, actually. We'll just leave a little block for me to get in. And maybe, like, honestly... We could just do that to get out. Um, actually, let's do the same on this side. Just so monsters can't spawn and get in. So we'll do that. They go in here. And uh, that's about it. Okay. So we're like we're like basically done for today, I think. Because um, we don't want to go crazy with too much today. We want to get some rest. But... I, I Okay, let's, let's put the cobblestone walls around on the other side. Just to make sure that everything is peachy and then next stream we're gonna start off with the um by uh creating the little what do you call it we're gonna start off by creating the village and uh that will be the start of next stream i think which is pretty good we made some good progress in the stream um sometimes i get like nothing done but i think this time we got some like a lot of gaming done got a lot a lot of stuff a lot of really good stuff uh, what was I? I wasn't really looking for anything. I don't think. We can put all this away. We'll put this away for now. Uh, we will need some of it later, and that, and then we can just put the walls where we want to put them. I don't have any other beds right now. Okay, I should have probably kept one on me. Is that setting? Yeah. Let's just wait a second. Um, but yeah, after we put the walls around, we'll be good. How is the snapshot? I kind of want to try it. So the thing is, um. For me, for it doesn't have Optifine, and my game just was so laggy, so I just had to stop. I didn't even, I didn't even, I played for like maybe ten minutes. I didn't even like really make any progress with it. If there's Optifine for it, or if I can figure out what was breaking about it, um, I was thinking, I think it'd be more fun to do in, in like an SMP style thing. So maybe leading up to ISMP, if you want to do a bit of like a joke SMP thing where we're like maybe like three street two or three streams maybe four where we kind of um like we all have to vote on stuff 
and see what people vote for and see what changes it brings to the game. I think like two or three streams, it could be fun. Optify never works for snapshots. Yeah, that's the thing. If if um, I know there's other things like I I don't know what they're called, but I know there's other like things that people use for that stuff. So um, what are they called? I I can't think of any off the top of my head. Yeah, Ellie's here. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I know that there's like um, aren't some of them called like diorite or something? Like I I don't remember. But yeah, there there are other um things that can make your game less laggy. Um and if we can figure out that sodium and them also only work for major updates, damn. Okay. Never mind. Um Yeah, then I guess I guess it's just a, a matter of either I find out what went wrong or uh I just take the L. I think that's just how it's going to go. Uh, no one's going to get through here. There you go. Just one there. Um, yeah, either I find out what went wrong with the uh, with with the update, or I, I will just have to just not try again. Which sucks, because it looks cool. Uh, and I would have liked to give it a try, but, you know, that's just how it goes. And then we do some here. Okay. The only thing is mobs can still get through here. Right now I'm uh making this so that the villagers can't get out, but um mobs will still be able to get in and hurt them. So we will just have to do this during daytime and be careful. Are there any more? Am I done? I'm out? Damn. Okay. Well, Uh, let's grab some of this stuff again. Um, but yeah, I I think we're getting close to the end. I think, oh, damn. I'm like, I keep saying we're getting close to the end, and then there's always like one little thing I want to do. What we're going to do, we're just going to make a couple more cobblestone walls and grab the last of those chest items just so that they're, just so that they're home. Ugh. It just refuses to want me to end. I, I, I just think the game wants me to keep playing. It's just like, all right, we're having fun. Don't end now. No, no, no. <laughs> hey mama, hello my son slash grandson. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it spawned a tree with vines. Alright. Let's see how much of this stuff can actually go in here. I don't even feel like looking. Okay, and the rest of it goes in here. There we go. I will need more chests. Wow, look at that. Okay, uh, which we have one that we're about to bring over. And then I need, um... Well, I, I crashed. That's so annoying. <laughs> Guys, I was literally talking about how it can't get any worse. And I've everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. And then I crash. Out of nowhere. So that's cool. Um... I'm gonna make sure everything's back up uh, that I need. <laughs> That's so annoying. I don't even know why I did that. My laptop just turned off out of nowhere. Everything just went black. That is so frustrating. Okay. Well, if you guys can see this, I guess we're good. We're just gonna finish the rest of this. This is so broken because the stream is playing, but there's an overlay saying this broadcast you're watching has ended. Really? Dude, today is not my day. I should have just, honestly, after the first break of stream, I should have just been like, nah, I'm done. I'm done streaming. Screw it. Because today has not been my day whatsoever. I've had like three or four mess ups. <laughs> yeah, screenshot, put in RU UFO in my Discord if you want. That's so frustrating. Well, hey, we're here now. We're good. We're chilling. We're chilling in space. Let's just get through the rest of this. I don't even remember what I was doing necessarily, but... I think I was just, I think the last thing I wanted to do was just put in this wall. So I think we're good now. Um, and we'll just, we'll leave it until here for now. We will need to do more later. Oh, this is going to annoy me. Jeez. Gosh, okay. Let's, let's go back home. And let's, uh, let's end this stream. Because clearly, 
the universe has been telling me all day today, don't stream. It's not time for stream. You're not streaming today. And I pushed through and I tried to do it for you guys, but I think it's I think I'm done. I think I need to rest now. I think the ga the the game and my laptop and OBS and Twitch and it, literally everything has been saying just take a break today and stop streaming and 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 yeah. I think it's I think it's time that we end. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. I uh I definitely enjoyed uh in the middle where we were like fine and not breaking. But I didn't enjoy that last part. That was really mean. But uh it's fine, it happens. No wonder my aerials in RL suck today. What why? It's just a bad day? Or is it because is it because of some other thing I'm not getting? Today's just not my day. Today's not my day. Today's not my day. It's just a bad day. It's just it is just the worst day. Cause you had a bad day. You're taking one down. Control been weak broken for at least a week? Dude. Oh, that's why the aerials suck. Dude, there yeah, that's uh that's crazy. A week. A week of just broken control and he never realized. Yes, yeah, sorry, I'm proud. Daisy, I always get the references you make. I don't know why. I'm good at getting those ones. Alright. Boys, let's end. Let's end. Let's freaking let's let's take some let's let's go and relax. Okay, even my camera is broken on the full cam. Let me fix this. There we go. Let's let's go and relax. It's I'm done. I'm over it. I w I want a rest day cuz th this but when I say a whole new cage, you don't get it. Yeah, of course I don't get it cuz that's not an actual reference. <laughs> oh my gosh. When you had a crush on Jasmine, that's true. On by the way, talking about Jasmine the Aladdin character, not my friend Jasmine. Um to be clear, guys, all right, I'm going to close the game so I don't get killed because we can't deal with another L today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, Vod, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you out. Take care. Hopefully tomorrow's, not tomorrow's. I'm not streaming tomorrow. I'm not streaming the day after tomorrow either. Hopefully Thursday's stream goes better than this one because today, today got to me. Today hated me. Goodbye, Vod.